Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 22nd of 2025 is titled Comet Lemon Over the High Tatras. So, what do we see here? Well, here we again see Comet Lemon, prominent in the sky right now, at least if you observe it with binoculars or a small telescope. And you can also pick it up in the camera on your phone, which will give a slightly longer exposure and allow you to see a little more detail than your eyes would be able to pick up. Now, it is barely visible to the unaided eye, so if you know exactly where to look, you would be able to pick it. It might be able to pick it out, I should say, but it would not be easy. It's not going to stand out as much as it does in many of the images that we get to look at here, which are much longer exposures. This one is a composite with 50 different exposures taken a couple of days ago. So that you can get a lot more detail, longer exposures is bringing out a lot of detail in the comet. But if you look toward the northwest right after sunset, you may be able to see this. It's still relatively far north, not that far from the Big Dipper, but it is visible in the sky there. So as soon as it starts to get dark after sunset, look toward the northwest. It won't be very high above the horizon, only about 15 degrees, depending on the exact location of where you are. That 15 would be for someone at about 40 degrees north latitude. And of course, you can look up a little more precise for what your exact location might be. But it is visible now, and you can get some nice images here in this detailed image that we look at today, which shows the tails very prominently. Now, comets will generally have two tails. The long one going straight back is known as the ion or plasma tail. That is individual atoms that have been pushed back by the solar wind and will always point directly away from the sun. So the sun now here would be just below the horizon following the direction opposite to the tail of the comet. Now, the second tail is a little bit fainter, but it's wider, and you can see it's stretching back to the right here, and that is known as the dust tail. That's a little bit heavier particles, not big chunks, but little grains of material that are swept back also by the sun, but they're also lag behind the comet in its orbit. So they're a little bit heavy, heavier, so they lag behind. So the comet is moving, as seen in this image, from right to left. That would be the motion of the comet, and we know that because of the way the dust tail curves and that it's left behind. So here with a very detailed image, again, combination of 50 exposures put together to make this one image, we can see Comet Lemon very prominent in the sky. Again, you will not see it like this if you go out to look. So if you look to the northwest right after sunset, you're not likely to see the comet just like this. You may pick up that fuzzy little dot that is the coma of the comet, but you really won't be able to see all the other detail. Again, point your camera in that direction and take a few pictures, and you might be surprised what you're able to pick up and detect using just an ordinary camera on your phone. So that was our picture of the day for October 22nd of 2025. It was titled Comet Lemon Over the High Tatras. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.